So let's jump in, man. Uh, so first off, you know, congrats on the successful NFT uh, Theta Network drop. Uh, it's pretty amazing watching the process and, you know, seeing you share along the way and, and what it transpired into is, is awesome. So first off, what, what exactly is um, an NFT to, to somebody that might not know what that is? All right, I'm going to do and this. Feel free to screen share if you Yeah, like. I'm going to do that now. So let me make sure I'm doing this right here. Uh, da, 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 da. Sharing. All right, let's see here. All right, you guys see that, the whole thing yeah. here? All right, so um, NFT is called a non-fungible token, and it is essentially a digital certificate of authenticity for any kind of digital asset. And in this case, it is light painting. So it's it's a it's a way to certify that a digital version of a light painting is an authentic version and not just a uh, copy of the original digital. If you think of it like a digital, like blockchain technology is a digital ledger that's verifiable, it's public, anybody can go and check it at any point in time. So it's just a transparent record of proof of a digital asset. That's an NFT basically. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what, what was the process, um, you know, for creating the NFT drop? Um, the all right. That you, so, you were like I'm going to, I'm going to start, um, just with this screen share here with, with Theta network. Um, there's okay. most people, I don't know how many people on here have heard of NFTs or how many people watch this video have heard of NFTs, but I imagine quite a few people have heard of NFTs at this point. Um, in I've been interested in blockchain technology since about 2016 with, uh, when I first heard about Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff and, um, have paid attention to that space, not necessarily for the NFT aspect of it, but just for the blockchain aspect of it and just being a future technology. I just find that kind of stuff interesting and always have, and just kind of pay attention to those things. And, um, so this particular network, Theta network, I became aware of in about 2019 is when I first became aware of Theta and what they do is they're solving a real world problem of uh, making it less expensive and more efficient to stream video content. So that was not necessarily from an NFT or artwork point of view, but that's what first got me interested in Theta as really more of like uh, a cryptocurrency to buy um, and something to invest in. So that's when I started paying attention to uh, the Theta network. And a part of what happened with Theta is that because I was interested in this network, I believe in the team behind them. They've got a bunch of really smart people there. And also the community behind Theta, as I've said in other interviews or whatever, really does remind me of the, the light painting community in that you've got a bunch of people that are really passionate about something and they're really smart and they're just, they're very, uh, helpful to one another, just like our light painting community is. So it's, it's a bunch of people kind of watch out for each other in this space. And, um, that was something that really drew me to the Theta network, but anyway, getting into the NFT part of it. Um, what happened was Theta has the video streaming aspect of what they actually do. And some of their partners wanted them to build out an NFT platform. And so it was more out of, um, uh, a desire of some of their partners. They have partners like Katy Perry and American Idol and all these other people now. Um, and those types of partners were interested in the video streaming aspect of it. But then with the explosion of the NFT and collectible assets, um, they decided to build out this NFT platform. So when I saw that happen, because I was so interested and involved in Theta and the Theta community, I thought it would be the perfect place to kind of try to get a light painting NFT platform started. And that's, that's really how it, how it came to be. Um, the difference between what I did and what a lot of other people are doing is that there's all kinds of places that you can go and kind of do your own NFT project. So you can, if you wanted to, anybody can go and I encourage everybody to do this, um, sell your light paintings as NFTs. I didn't do it that way. I did it as um, 
more of a partnership with a company. And so that aspect of it definitely had more challenges than just going to a platform like an open sea or something like that and uh, right. creating your own, like I said, on an open sea, you can basically put anything up there and say, okay, this is the original of my artwork, whether it be a photograph, a light painting, you know, anything you want to put up there. Um, just about anybody can go up there and, and do that. It's, it's relatively easy, but doing it with, as a partnership with Theta, it was just a lot different and a lot more steps to go through. Theta Drop is their NFT platform that they built out. And as you can see, they have people like Katy Perry, American Idol, Resorts World, Las Vegas, all these other people that they're, they're working with here. And um, so back to the partnership aspect of this, my drop sold out in 25 minutes, but there was nearly a year of work that went into that 25 minutes happening. So again, right. With with a platform like an open sea, you can kind of go there and just put your work up there and sell it. And it's pretty easy. I mean, it might take you 20 minutes to do that. With this, it was going back and forth, sharing ideas with them. And then also the the beauty of blockchain and data network itself is that um, you can add utility to the NFTs. And that's something that Theta really wanted me to do was showcase some of their technology within my NFTs. So the NFTs that I did, the Illuminated Beings NFTs, um, they have utility to them built in so they can be used to actually unlock other things like redeemable physical prints um, and uh, video content that is locked behind the NFT. So the only people that can actually view some of the video content that I created for this drop are the people that own the NFT themselves. You know what what what's something to look out for in the future you know you kind of hit on it there with uh um opening up the different um kind of reward kind i don't know you don't call it a reward what is the actual term for it like, it's, a, it's a utility it's a utility. utility okay what the utility allows you to do is provide value to the people that collect your work so that's that's the main okay. reason for me sharing this that well that i wanted to share this stuff with everyone um is the, the way the NFT works is that it allows you to give back and provide value to the people that are supporting you and collecting your work. So with a traditional print, you know, you might, you go to an art show, you buy a print, you see something that you like and you say, okay, I want to buy that print and whatever it's 50 bucks or whatever it is. So you pay 50 bucks for the print, you take it home. And there's really no way for the artist to provide any additional value other than selling you that print that you know you want to hang on your wall or whatever. With the NFT and the digital asset or the digital version of this, there's all kinds of ways that you can provide additional value to the people that support you and collect your work. And that's really what the beauty of this, this NFT thing is here. And if you go in and you collect one of these illuminated beings, just by holding this, there's all kinds of additional things that I can do as the artist that I can then provide for the the collector to give them additional value. Yeah, it's a it's a great format. Um, Jason, walk walk us through that feeling of seeing your name next to Resort World, Las Vegas, American Idol, Carrie, Katy Perry, and just uh, you know when you saw you, Jason Page, right there on the same screen. Walk walk us through that that feeling, man. It was a, it was a really good feeling. <laughs> it was, it was one of those things that what happened was I was literally looking at my computer one day and um, I had done all this stuff to get to this point where I was able to have this drop on data drop. And um, it's one of those things where you just kind of keep your head down and you're just working, 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 and just trying to make it happen. You know what I mean? That you never really look up and you say, you know, you, you don't really look up and realize what you're doing. You're kind of just going, going, going. And then right. all of a sudden, you know, like I said, that, that screenshot, I don't have it here, but you know, where my name was up there with, you know, next to Katy Perry and all those people. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a really cool feeling, man. It was, uh, it was, it's a humbling feeling and very rewarding. It was just a, it was a very proud moment. Um, but it's back to work immediately there. Right. 
Yeah, uh, it's it's definitely well deserved, man. You put a lot of hard work into it. It's 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 awesome, in my opinion, just the way it's set up and just you know, it's inspiring to see you uh, uh, tackle this and and be successful at it. So it's it's uh, it's awesome, man. Thank you. Um, now that you've had this experience with you know being with having a successful drop, uh, you know where would you like to see it go from here? Um. Okay, can't go too much into this, obviously, but uh, because again, right. it's not just me, it's a partnership and things have to go back and forth. But uh, this is, in my vision, this is a very first step in a much bigger picture of basically building out the place for light painting NFTs, building out a 24-7 accessible global marketplace for light painting artwork that's basically what i really want to do with this and um you know as long as this continues to go well and you know they are happy with everything that i'm doing and i'm happy with everything that they're doing and it all works out then hopefully we'll be able to build that out it's a very long-term vision this is like i said just is just one small step in a much much bigger picture that we're uh, trying to build out but um right yeah it's it's a it's a long term thing. So, well, I mean, how do we here in the community support projects like this and create value, you know, for for this to be successful or, or for other light painters to be successful? You know, what what can we do as a community together to to uh, help this be successful? Just exactly what the light painting community is known for doing, and that is supporting each other. And that's it. And that can right. be done whether you go on there and buy one or whether you just share it or whether you, you know, comment on Facebook posts or share Facebook posts or Instagram posts or Twitter or whatever. It's just getting the word, the word out and, you know, not necessarily sharing this specifically. That would be great. I'd be very happy and thankful if everybody wants to share this. Wonderful. Please do. But, you know, just supporting each other like we always do by sharing commenting liking posts and you know all that kind of stuff and there's other people doing light painting uh nfts as well and supporting those people as well the the thing that i envision again and see is that you know it's kind of like one person doing well kind of brings everything up so you know if if we're supporting each other and all rising together and providing value and, and giving value to the work, then, you know, if, if Eric's, uh, light painting NFTs, Eric Perret is doing light painting NFTs is hit. If his do really well, and we all support him, you know, in turn, everyone else will then have more opportunities as well. You know what I mean? So right. it's, just, it's just about doing, doing what the community does and supporting each other. So that's what I think. Um, I had one last question, but, um, you kind of answered that already. And, and it was, you know, any new or exciting news with any future drops or, you know, for those collecting your artwork. Um, but, you know, you, you really said you can't really go into it too deep and, and, you know, right. with, uh, with the partnership that you're, you're doing. So, um, awesome stuff, man. You know, it's, it, it's awesome to see where this is. I know personally all the hard work that you put into this and, uh, um, yeah. And, you know, I'm proud of you, man. Just to, to 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 be at this position that you're in is is awesome to see, man. Thank you. And as always, man, I, you know, you know why, you know the big picture of all this, man. And I'm I'm really trying to uh, trying to build something big here, not just for me, but for for everybody. You know. All right. Well, Jason, man, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you sharing that with us, and and keep up the great work, man. Right on. And I'll uh I'll put all the links to this stuff um in the in the whatever in the chat, the chat, there, yeah. chat and description when yep. this video goes online or whatever and uh, one other thing just let me say i got i'll put this link in there too this was everything that happened about the drop here um so if you guys want to check it out and just kind of see what i did um for this drop you can go there and check this page out uh, again i'll put this link in the chat and in the description and everything but um this is everything that I did for, for this particular drop. And then this is the marketplace where you can actually go on there and get, you know, one of the illuminated beings if you want to. And then thetadrop.com, super cool. They got all kinds of great stuff. And if you want to more, if you want to learn more about Theta and what they actually do from the blockchain cryptocurrency aspect, 
uh, datatoken.org. I'll put all this stuff in the chat and description.